What's up, guys? War here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I bring very distressing and unfortunate news out of the Diablo 4 development team. A few hours ago, Adam Fletcher here, the Diablo 4 community manager, uh, tweeted out about some changes that are coming and more specifically are going to be nerfing the Evade for Spiritborn's Evade build, which a lot of people not only are playing this season already, but are having what is most important, I think, in ARPG games, and that is fun. So if you guys go through and read some of these comments, a lot of people are very unhappy with the nerf that is going to come because i'm back playing wow even if evade is nerfed because that's the only build i enjoyed this season and there's a lot of this that's going on um in the comments so the reason that they are nerfing it is because they claim that this is again the same excuse that we have had for over a year now with any build that is fun and that is because it is a quote-unquote bug and that it is causing the experience or is impairing the experience of other players in their in-game experience, right? They're hitting because this is a bug. Now, this bug and experience for the servers has been the same excuse that we've gotten for over, um, over a year now when something's fun. So I responded and tweeted about this, and you guys can let me know down in the comments um, about this so since the following builds have been nerfed because of the same excuse bugs and uh, causing server issues season one we got twisting blades ball lightning hoda shred heart seeker the frozen orb build slash lightning spear build uh, whirlwind dance of knives already and we haven't even got into the season because it was nerfed from the ptr and now evade so it's really unfortunate that all this has happened but I do want to bring something into clarity and kind of help you guys understand, at least besides the quote unquote bug nerfs, as well as the server experience nerfs, even though the regular Quill Volley build is hitting for however much, which apparently isn't causing issues, but this dash is causing issues. Now, I do want to preface that one point of emphasis is the quote unquote cancellation of the evade so when you press evade you see how he flips and then he has to stand back that is the full animation of the evade which is probably in part of what's going to be nerfed and changed to next week now it is, it is kind of hilarious that this is the issue and i'm going to explain why and i hope that this you know lights a fire for the community because you know, I love playing Diablo. I love, you know, a lot of changes in the direction that they're going. But I am pretty sick and tired of a lot of these builds that the community has fun with being nerfed for the same excuse of bugs and server problems. Now, you can notice that when you evade, right, there's the full animation. Now, if I am using the evade build correctly, I'm just canceling the animation by nerfing. Okay, now... Well, hold on. Let's uh, let's change something real quick. Let me let me grab a point of emphasis here. Let me go ahead and take some gear off really quick, just so people can kind of understand something. Now, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use Yen's blessing. It gives plus three maximum evade charges. Okay. So, if I remember correctly. Let's go ahead and even take this off just for the for for the video. So now I have evades, right? That's normal evading. But this is me just regularly evading, right? So take a look. I'm going to let this charge back up and this is without using the evade powers of the spiritborn, right? From the build. This is just boots that give me maximum evade charges and I want you to keep in mind Maximum evade charges on boots have been in the game sent for over a year since release. So here we go. I'm going to hit my evade button. No spirit born build, like none of the powers for the evade build. And I'm just going to evade. I'm just going to press it because I have multiple evade build charges. Ready? That's so weird. That's so weird that I can cancel the animation with 
plus evade boots, but somehow the build for Spiritborn with evade is what's a bug breaking the cancellation of evade, but max evade already does this. Okay, let's just, you know, it's just, it's just unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Okay, it's just, I mean, I just don't understand how it can continue. Like, I'm even going to change my abilities here. Like, this just gives me crit. And when you evade, you fill up storm. So, it doesn't even change anything. I just think it's just hilarious that I can cancel evade with plus evade charges. But using the evade eagle build is somehow a bug to evade. And is breaking the cancel. The, the, like, canceling the animation. I, I don't understand it. Diablo community. I hope that you guys can explain that to me. Um, I, I honestly do not get it. I'll even take the rest of my gear out. So there's no chance of like any issues here. This is literally just plus evade. Okay. Need time for That's just plus evades. It's literally just plus maximum evade charges. And that cancels the animation. So you're telling me that boots that give me maximum evade charges, which cancels animations so I can evade more times in a row, wasn't a bug for over a year. But using this build that everybody, including myself, is having fun with this season is somehow a bug and is canceling the animation. And that's what's wrong. Now, the other excuse of server problems I, I just flat out, I don't think so. I mean, show the data. Show us something that's really causing that. Because I played this evade build with my teammates. I literally just did the raid again with teammates that are using the evade build. And there is zero issues to my in-game experience. So, I'm just frankly, like, at my wits end about it. I'm sick and tired of season after season, even with the PTR like these builds that are just very fun and very fruitful for the game just continue to get nerfed and taken away because i'm going to tell you what's going to happen next week when this patch goes out or even sooner based on the tweet that everybody is virtually going to leave the comment section on that post is literally filled with that people are going to leave the game again and we are what a week a week and a half into the three-month season of this brand new expansion. And you're going to have a huge drop-off of people because of this nerf. I don't understand it. I will never understand it. So maybe you guys down in the comments can help me understand it. I don't get it. Maybe I'm just a dumb content creator. Maybe I'm just a dumb, you know, ARPG player and lover. And I just don't understand. But explain it to me make it make sense but um i'm just gonna call it now and it's just you know rip to season six guys i want to apologize to to the community and just say hey this really sucks you know maybe in season seven we'll have a fun build and it won't get nerfed but uh yeah man rip to season six man hopefully you guys will come back for season seven um that's all i gotta say man i mean like this video though if you guys really boost the likes on this and comment on this, hopefully the devs will see this and they'll make some changes and come back. I mean, hell, Rob got the devs to change the bash build like overnight. So let's try to get this to change the evade build overnight. Let's see if they can revert these changes, man. I'm just really disappointed as a creator, um, you know, for the game. So. Again, guys, like this and comment. Blow this up so that way the devs can see this and we'll get the word spread about it. But I really hope it changes, man. It's just really disappointing and just very, very frustrating. But, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching um, and supporting the channel as always, man. I appreciate it. Be safe, have fun, and as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next video. Gosh, man.